Well, I just took a look at the Whole30 uh, diet program online and I've heard about it. I never really read about it before, but I know that's the big thing uh, for 2018. That's one of the ones listed as super popular. And I am utterly appalled by the language and the way the diet speaks to the potential dieter. And not only because of the food rules that are so ridiculous for 30 days, you just give them 30 days and you don't eat any sweets and it's a very limited diet it's very restrictive it's an elimination diet they even say and but then the language used to you a person who's looking for help and for um a way out of being heavy and a demeaning it's like oh you know you think this is tough tough is you know having a baby or doing all these other things really it is just it's the essence of a diet mentality and it is the essence of a bullying diet industry to take someone who's searching online for like a diet they can do that maybe helps because they feel heavy and awful and then just makes them feel worse by making them feel weak and like losers because here they are they need someone to tell them what to eat every moment of their of the every time they eat they need some help because you know Look at you, you you know, don't say this is tough. Just give give us a month and you know, we'll start the healing for you. Guys, I know when we're heavy, we're desperate and we are looking for an answer. And this is why diets get us over and over again. In the year 2000, I stopped dieting after doing it for 25 years, a very long time. And I'm telling you that what I now, with a hindsight and with distance from my diet mentality of what, 18 years now, I can go, oh my God, that is so demoralizing and so demeaning. And it makes me so angry because I know people are reading that already feeling bad about themselves because of what they weigh. And then now feeling, okay, well, I guess I deserve to be beat up by this diet. And so that they do that. Now, the food that this diet is leading you to is supposedly healing food, so it gets rid of inflammation and all this stuff. It's all the same garbage rolled over and over again, recycled. Yeah, we know. Lean meat and vegetables and some fat and, you know, it's all the same. There's nothing new there. There's just, there's no way to get people there, though, the way the diet industry is trying to get us there. I worked in the diet industry. I know I've seen this from the inside out. It's about money, not about you getting healthy. That's you getting healthy is their code. It's, it's their way to entice you in. If you want to be healthy, one of the first things you eliminate is stress and dieting is extremely stressful to you. The next thing you do is to start tuning into your body instead of tuning out. And all these diets, paleo, ketosis, Whole30, um, all these new, all the diets that are out there and have been out there and recycled over and over and over, they all do the same thing. They make you feel like you don't know what to do with your body. When in fact, the best wisdom lies within you and you've been made to feel crippled by the diet industry, like you need them to tell you exactly what to eat. You need to tell the diet industry to get the heck out of your life and you tune into you because the beautiful information that is locked within you on what you're craving, when you're hungry, how much should you eat? It's all there, folks. Mother Nature gave us the way to, to know that. But people like Bob Harper or Dr. Oz or whoever you're listening to these days online or on YouTube, no, these are the perfect foods. You need to eat this and this and this. And look at me because that's what I did. So what? You're not them. You tune in to you. That is your way to your best body, your happiness, and stress-free relationship with food. And just keep thinking, if diets worked, why aren't we all thin? Mm.